Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have an excellent problem for you all today. This one is from the Christmas Special Mock Geometry Olympiad. So this is a contest shown to me by the user Arabian Math on Art of Problem Solving. And I believe the contest was created by the user Amaro4 on AOPS. So I've learned a lot from his posts in the past, and this is a really nice competition he created. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So this was actually the third solution I came up with, and I believe it's the nicest one. Uh, so I hope you'll enjoy it. So we have a triangle ABC with circumcircle omega. Uh, the tangents at B and C meet at point P. AP meets BC at a point K. And M is the midpoint of BC. X is a point on AC such that AB is tangent to the circumcircle BXC. BX and AM meet at a point T. And then we let the parallel through C to AM meet TK at a point V. And we want to show that AV is tangent to omega. So the first thing I thought when I solved this problem was to apply this median theorem. Uh, so whenever you have a point P like this, which is the intersection of the two tangents to the circle at B and C, then you have angle BAP is equal to angle CAM by the median theorem. So that's video number 52 on my channel. I give a proof there, so check it out if you haven't seen it. So I'm going to write it out. So by the median theorem in that video, uh, angle BAK is equal to angle BAP, which is equal to angle CAM, which is equal to angle ACV. And that's because AM is parallel to CV. So angle CAM is equal to angle ACV. All right. So how do we show AV is tangent to omega? Well, one way to do that is to show that angle VAC is equal to angle ABC. But if you look closely, we know that angle BAK is equal to angle ACV. So that would be the same as showing that two of the three angles in those triangles, uh, BAK and ACV, are the same. So maybe we could try to solve the problem by showing the third angle is equal. So that would be the same as showing that angle AVC is equal to angle AKB. And that would be the same as showing that AVCK is a cyclic quadrilateral. All right, so how do we show AVCK is a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, that would be the same as showing that angle AVK is equal to uh, angle ACK. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. Um, so I'm going to use a little trick. Um, first of all, I'm going to label this intersection point. Um, but before I do that, uh, since AK is a symmedian in triangle ABC, uh, that means that AK and AM are symmetric across the angle bisector. Um, so I'm going to write some of this out. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to note one other thing. So we have angle ABX is equal to angle ACB. And so that means in those two triangles, ABX and ACB, two of the three angles are the same, and so they have to be similar triangles. All right, now I'm gonna label this intersection point here. I'm gonna call it E. Um, and so basically because AE and AT are reflections across the angle bisector of A, that means in these two similar triangles, ABX and ACB, uh, e corresponds to M and T corresponds to K. So I'm going to write this out. So since angle BAK is equal to angle CAM and we have triangle ABX is similar to triangle ACB, then in those two similar triangles, E has to correspond to M and T has to correspond to K. And from there, it's easy to see that um, since corresponding parts of similar triangles uh, are in the same ratio, uh, we have to have AE over AT is equal to AM over AK. So I'm going to write this out. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to note one other thing. So um, since M is the midpoint of BC, so BM is equal to MC, uh, since E corresponds to M, then we have to have BE is equal to EX. Okay. And now I'm going to continue with what I said. So 
the seg the length of the segment AE corresponds to uh, AM in the same ratio that AP corresponds to AK, since those are corresponding parts of those triangles. So said another way, AE over AT is equal to AM over AK. And then if you cross multiply, you get AE times AK is AM times AT. And so by converse of power of a point, uh, ETMK has to be cyclic. All right, so I'm gonna draw in that circle. And also we knew up here, uh, since BM is equal to MC and BE is equal to EX, uh, that means that ME is a mid-segment in the triangle BCX. So ME has to be parallel to CX. So I'm gonna write that out. So we can draw in that segment, EM. And now I claim we have enough information uh, where we can use an angle chase to show what we wanted, which is that AVCK is cyclic, which I mentioned earlier would solve the problem. So I'm going to go ahead with that angle chase now. Uh, I'm just going to move the points around a little bit. So I want to show that angle ACV is equal to angle AKV. That would show that AVCK is cyclic, which I showed earlier would solve the problem. So I have angle ACV. Uh, it's equal to angle EMA, so maybe this isn't totally obvious, but basically I said here that EM is parallel to CX, and then also AM is parallel to CV. So since those two pairs of lines are both parallel, the angles between them have to be the same. So that means angle ACV has to equal angle EMA. Uh, they're surrounded by pairs of parallel lines. And angle EMA is equal to angle EMT, uh, which is equal to angle EKT, now that we know that this is cyclic. And angle EKT is equal to angle AKV. So if angle ACV is equal to angle AKV, then that means AVCK has to be cyclic. And now it's all downhill from here. So I'm going to draw in that circle. I'm going to move um, some of this text to the right just to make room for the diagram. And now we have enough information to do an angle chase to conclude that AV is tangent to omega. So I'm gonna to try to show angle VAC is equal to angle ABC. And I'm gonna write out the angle chase here. So we have angle VAC is equal to angle VKC, uh, which is equal to angle TKM, which is equal to angle TEM, and angle TEM is equal to angle AXB. Uh, that's because EM is parallel to AC um, from this step, since EM is parallel to CX. So we have angle TEM is equal to angle AXB, and angle AXB is equal to angle ABC. Uh, that's not hard to see since AB is tangent uh, to the circle omega, then angle ABC uh, has to equal angle AXB. Uh, also, we said that earlier since uh, these two triangles are similar, ABX and ACB. So since angle, so if we put this all together, uh, we have angle VAC is equal to angle ABC, which is exactly what we wanted to show because that proves that AV is tangent to omega and that solves the problem. So I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, my other two solutions both use Steiner's theorem. Uh, so it turns out that BK over CK is equal to AB over AC squared. Um, so I haven't done a proof of that on my channel before, but if you haven't seen it, I encourage you to check it out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.